Okay, boys, so it's uh, literally a kitchen counter uh, top uh, bench test set, set up here. And I'm gonna show you how a function check um, coil on plug um, set up. The, they're all pretty much, they're very, very similar, boys, although I can't speak to the pin out on each ones. This is a, a coil assembly from my SX4. You can use a battery, you don't need a fancy power supply. Um, you can maybe even do this with a 9 volt battery. I know I've tested this all the way down to like 4 volts and it's still functional so uh, whether or not a little 9 volt battery can put the current out or not I'm not sure but um, you can certainly try it. It's not going to hurt him. Um, so here's the actual pin out um, and again we're looking at this um, I'll, I'll put the camera in this orientation voice okay so it's actually upside down if you will um, the pin on the red is actually the uh, 12 volt supply. This is the ground and this is the actual switching. Some of you may actually know this as a scratch test. I also have the ground is actually um, on the body of the plug itself. The switching is just going to be done through my test light here. Uh, the actual switching is a 5 volt uh, pulse that's supplied uh, from the uh, engine control module. So we're just going to be the computer as Paul Danner would say and uh, simulate the, uh, the the pulse, the control pulse uh, via the test light. So all I'm doing is, as I said, the yellow line is actually the the, uh, the control line. And all I'm doing is going to the 12 volts. So I'm applying the 12 volts through the test light. Yes, it's not going to be 5 volts, but through the test light, um, it's going to suffice to actually uh, act as a control pulse. And you can actually see what goes on. So all I'm doing is actually touching So you can see, you can indeed effectively function check your coil on plug setup just by simply touching it. And you'll notice by releasing the, uh, or removing the, uh, the control voltage, it actually turns off the igniter within the coil on plug assembly. And that's what actually causes the primary field uh, to collapse, inducing a high voltage into the secondary, of course, and jump the, uh, the gap on the plug. Okay, that's it boys. Quick and easy we test.